when we use the word critical in critical thinking, we don't mean fault finding. However, if you were to look this up on dictionary.com, that is the first definition. This is a way that we use the word critical all the time. So definition one, inclined to find fault or to judge with severity, often too readily. This is not what we mean by critical. Instead, we mean something more like number three here, involving skillful judgment as to truth, merit, etc. Let's take a look at some of the synonyms. One of the first things we might notice is that they're all grouped together under the sense of fault finding and detracting. But we do see something like analytical here, which is more like the definition we looked at involving skillful judgment as to truth merit. As we'll see, analytical fits with number three here. But most of the synonyms we'll find on this list are associated with fault finding and have a negative connotation. So belittling, biting, carping, condemning, demeaning, derogatory, finicky, hair splitting, hypercritical, nagging, niggling, nitpicking, overcritical, sarcastic. These are not the kinds of synonyms we have in mind when we use the word critical. Instead, Perhaps the two best synonyms for critical in our sense of the term are analytical and discerning. So analytical, synonyms for analytical, cogent, detailed, diagnostic, interpretive, investigative, penetrating, rational, scientific, systematic, thorough, inquiring, inquisitive, logical, organized, perceptive, problem solving, questioning, studious, valid, these all have positive connotations. And let's look at discerning. Again, mostly positive things here. Astute, insightful, knowledgeable, penetrating, perceptive, knowing, bright and brilliant, clear-sighted and clever, ingenious, intelligent, perspicacious, sagacious, sharp, shrewd, wise. Our goal is to be wise and discerning and analytical, not overly critical, nagging, and hair splitting.